Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakak Wadash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of great news, though, and you know where I'm learning this truth. Shalom to the Aki, I'm pushing this truth in our sincerity and honesty. Um, I want to do a, a, you know, a quick, quick video, you know, on oppression, man. You know, um, the Negroes, the Latinos, and Native Americans, who are the Israelites from the scriptures, man. You know, we're being oppressed, man. You know, by these heathens, man, in this kingdom, right? Because at the end of the day, because of our disobedience, you know, by not keeping the laws, the statutes, and the commandments, we are put under a curse. You know, if you read um, Deuteronomy 28 from verses 15 um, to verses um, 68, it tells us the curses that the Israelites were going to go through if we if we didn't obey Yahweh Bashi Mel Shai. And the, the condition our people are in today, right, is is the curse is a curse that Yahweh Bashi Mel Shai has put on our, on our people, man. You know, and I've just been meditating on, you know, you know, the life we're living, man, being oppressed, man. You know, um, you know, have to, you know, go and work. You know, most of our people can't even, you know, make enough money to enjoy themselves, man. So, you know, they get their pay, they pay their bills and everything. Right? And they broke, they broke again. It's like, you know, we're not enjoying the the, 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 the labors, the, the, the fruit of our labors, man. You know, and that's a curse, man. I think uh, if I could get Haggai 6... So lucky and bear with me. Yes, yeah, so this is um Haggai six. So lucky Haggai one verses six. It says he has sown much and bringing little. He eat but he not enough. He drink but he are not filled with drink. He clothe but there is none warm. And he that earneth wages. Earn it wages to put into a bag of holes. Right? And that's what's happening to our people, man. You know? See, like, we make our money, you know, we earn our salary, and, you know, we can't even enjoy our salary, man. That's, you know, that, that's what our people are going through today, man. Right? Because guess what? Before, man, you know, we, we was on... We was ruling the earth, man. You know? We was ruling Europe, you know, our people's in rulership, you know? But guess what? Because of our disobedience, right? Yeah, how about Shimei Shai? Right, put us in a servitude position. You know, to serve our, our, our to serve our, our, our slave masters, to serve these heathens, basically. Right, and this is just I just been um just thinking about it, man. And sometimes I just pray, you know. Sometimes I just wish I could just take us out, take take us out of this kingdom now, and just destroy this whole place now. But we we'll understand that. You know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh's timing is not our timing, man. We have to wait on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to really kick it off, man. You know? Because um, at the end of the day, man, you know, sometimes I'm here, man, and I think about the life we're living, man, and, you know, everything. And, you know, I get mad sometimes, man. You know, I get upset, you know? I get stressed. But guess what? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh, right? I got a plan to, 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 to you know? To, um, destroy this kingdom in due time, man, and we, our people shall be ruling again in righteousness. And because of this, because we have faith in this, right? Hopefully, if we be of the elect, man, you know, we try our very best to do the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man, to okay, the best of our ability on this side, man, because we want to get to that salvation, man. We want to be ruling the earth, man, you know, and the other planets and everything and the seas and ruling everything, man. That's what we want, man, okay? But we have to go through these curses and go through these oppression that we're going through now, man. You know, sometimes I get mad. And I know it's not just me, you know. You know, you got other men in this truth go through the same thing, man. Right? And especially when, you know, we know through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim El Shai, right? We know, the, we know the curses, we know the prophecies, we know about, you know, who the so-called white man is, you know, we know their agendas and everything. It makes us really mad. Right, that we have to go through this, man. Right, because when we have the all this wisdom, right, which is given to us by Yahweh by Shemel Shai, right, it changes our view on this whole entire, entire place, man. That's why a lot of our people nowadays, man, that are there in the world, because they don't have the knowledge of these scriptures, the knowledge of these prophecies, and what's to come, and who the enemy is, 
right? They, they, they're living happy, full of mirth, man. Going party, going this, enjoying themselves, right? Not seeing and not knowing what's going on, man. Right? But guess what? Those who got these scriptures, man, you know, we're not happy here, man. We're mad, man. Right? And I'm, I'm going to get a preset. Um, make wise man. Wise man mad. This is um Ecclesiastes seven verses seven. Um uh, here. This is Ecclesiastes seven verse seven and it reads Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, and a gift destroy the heart. So surely oppression make a wise man mad. So sometimes, we, you know, especially I can speak for myself, man. I go through certain things in this kingdom, man. It makes me mad that I have to go through it. But obviously, we understand and we know, right? It's because of our wickedness we're getting punished for, right? But, you know, we just sometimes I just wish that our kingdom can come now, right? Because we understand and we know that our kingdom, you know, is coming after this kingdom ends, man. Second Ezra's, that's in the Apocrypha, um... Bear with me. I'm gonna get a second Ezra um, six. So I'm gonna get um second Ezra's. This is 2nd Ezra 6, verses um, 8, and it reads, um, And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand had first the eel of Esau, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. And this is Esau's kingdom we're living in now, man. Right? Esau's the wicked, so cool white man. Right? If you read... Um, um, Job 9 verse 24, it said the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. We understand that who has the earth in their hand right now? The so-called white man, right? We know that they're wicked, right? When we read um, Obadiah 1, it shows all uh, of the signs to let us know who Esau is. They all match up to the so-called white man. And then when we read uh, Malachi 1 verse 4, it said they are the border of wickedness. So we understand that Esau is the wicked. And this wicked kingdom is going to come to an end. And our kingdom are gonna be is gonna be coming after, man. That's what we're waiting for. The elect. You know, the hopeful elect. That's what we're waiting for. That's what we're seeking for, man. Wanna leave this place because things are about to get about to get completely worse. You know, Jacob's trouble is around the corner, you know. And and some per perilous times are ahead, man. You know, and it's it's a beautiful thing because we know when the more these prophecies start co are coming to pass, we know that it's you know that we are very, very close to the end, man. Right, we know that we are gonna be. We are very close to the end, and in our kingdom, man, we shall not be going through oppression that we're going through here, man. You know that we're going through on this side, man. We ain't gonna be oppressed at all, man. We're gonna be living, you know, life, you know, good life, right? We ain't gonna be sinning, doing wickedness, man. Like our people are doing in this kingdom, man. You know, I'm gonna get them second S just forty seven. Um, so like yeah. 40, second is 43, right? And it say, But the day of doom shall be the end of this time, right? The day of doom shall be the end of this time, right? So this time is talking about this kingdom, man. Esau's kingdom, man, right? And the beginning of the immortality for to come, wherein corruption is past. And that's, that's when we're in our kingdom, ruling in righteousness, man. There's going to be no more corruption, no more wickedness, right? Intemperance is at an end. Infidelity is cut off. Righteousness is grown and truth is sprung up. That's right, man. So when we're ruling in our kingdom, man, right? No more corruption. No more wickedness shall be, you know, shall be existing, man. It's all going to be gone with Esau's kingdom, man. You know? Um, Get another precept. You know, just came to my mind. Second Peter 3. I don't remember exactly what verse it is, but I know it's 2 Peter 3, verses maybe like 12, 13. Yeah, um, 
This is 2 Peter 3 verses 13. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. Right? So this, so this whole earth, right, this whole heaven talking about this, the heavens is basically speaking about the rulership. So this, the, so this whole heaven, this whole rulership and this whole kingdom is going to be passed away. It's going to be destroyed. Okay? And then a new heavens with new rulership and a new earth, because the earth is going to be rejuvenated, right? We're in dwelling righteousness, man, you know, righteousness. And that's what, that's what we're praying for, man. So we don't have to go through all of this wickedness, you know, so that we don't have to be mad all the time and oppressed all the time by these wicked heathens, man, you know. And also the people them that, that, that want to sell out to the heathens as well, man. Them forget burn when the time come, man, you know. You have about shimmy or shy. You know, is the one controlling everything, man. Right? Controlling every single thing. And um, most of our people are going to die on this side. Where all of that has to happen. Right? It's sometimes it may be difficult to accept, but it has to happen. Right? And then, you know, Yahweh Bashim and Shai will start over our kingdom again. Afresh, starting with the elect. You know? So I just wanted to speak a few words on this. I hope it was edifying. You know? Until next time, shalom.